Clean Maker 10 to 1. That's 10 parts bead maker, one part dream maker. Let's talk how I came upon this dilution and why I use it like this, mixed together. So I like Dream Maker. I think it adds a warm glow, especially to freshly coated vehicles that I think coatings are actually lacking. Dream Maker delivers on that and Bead Maker is usually my final wipe down product. So I kind of got tired of doing the two step procedure. So what I started doing was uh, I'd soak the panel in Bead Maker and then put one spray of Dream Maker in the middle of the Bead Maker and spread it with my FTWs. It was having fantastic results. Then one day my Dream Maker sprayer bottle broke or my Dream Maker sprayer on the bottle broke. So I decided let's just throw a couple ounces into the Bead Maker bottle, which made about a 10 to one dilution. Let's see how it goes from there. Kind of started as a joke, but honestly, as I continued to use it, I was getting phenomenal results. It's got the slickness, it's got the gloss, it's got the anti-static from the Dream Maker. I think uh, this is pretty much the proper way to do it. I also found Dream Maker was a little finicky on more freshly coated vehicles. Uh, applying it by itself so mixing it with the bead maker actually I think alleviates that problem it takes the two steps into a one-step product and uh, I, I've been getting phenomenal results so if you want to uh, shorten up them steps mix a little dream maker into your bead maker I think it levels up the products for sure I've been having great results slick slickness and gloss just off the charts this is definitely a win in my book and I'm gonna keep doing it this way and plus, Dream Maker just went up in price uh, significantly. So if you just got a gallon, you might want to, uh, you know, preserve it a while. You just saw that slickness right there, that FTW. But yeah, that's Clean Maker 10 to 1. Check it out if you haven't. I highly recommend you do. I'll uh, see you on the next one.